this is what you're going to do. You're going to get a job. You're going to get an apartment. And then I'll help you and you can stay with us, right, Phoebe? She could stay with us. In this scene, the friends receive a surprise visit from Rachel's spoiled sister, Jill, who desperately asks Rachel for help. Spoiled describes a person that gets everything they want, usually causing them to behave badly. Oh, 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 I'm sorry, Rachel. <laughs> Let's see and find out if Phoebe agrees to let Jill stay with them. And if you want to enjoy comedy series like Friends without getting lost, keep watching. Yes? Hi, is Rachel here? I'm her sister. Oh my God, Jill! Oh my God, Rachel! Oh, hi! Oh my God, introduce us. <laughs> And you know Monica and Ross, hey, and that's Jill. Phoebe, and that's Joey. Hey, how you doing? Don't! <laughs> Honey, what are you doing here? Which, which sister is this? Is this the spoiled one or the one that bit her? <laughs> Daddy, cut me off. Never mind, I got it. And you know what I said to him? I said, I'm gonna hire a lawyer, and I'm gonna sue you and take all your money, and then I'm gonna cut you off. Wow, what did he say? He said he wouldn't pay for my lawyer. Uh, and then he told me to come here and learn about the value of money from the one daughter he's actually proud of. <gasps> Did you hear that? My dad's proud of me. My dad's proud of me. Great. Oh, yes, sorry. Great. Honey, so what did you do that made dad cut you off? Yes? Hi. Is Rachel here? I'm her sister. Oh my God, Jill! Oh my God, Rachel! Oh, oh my God, also known as OMG for my internet friends, is perhaps the most common English expression to express emotion. This emotion can be positive or negative. Intonation and context will tell you which one is which. In this clip, it's surprise and it's pretty positive. But in this next clip, it's a little different. This is a safe building. There's nothing. <laughs> so that was clearly negative and with a little desperation. Yes? Hi. Is Rachel here? I'm her sister. Oh my God, Jill! Oh my God, Rachel! Hi! Oh, oh my God, introduce us. <laughs> Introduce has a couple of different meanings, but here it means to present someone to someone else for the very first time. In this scene, this is the first time that Rachel's sister Jill meets Chandler, Phoebe, and Joey. She already knew Ross and Monica because when Rachel was younger, she was friends with them. Oh my God, introduce us. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is Chandler. Hi. And you know Monica and Ross, Hi, and Jill. that's Phoebe. This and that are both demonstrative pronouns. This just means that it's a pronoun used to point to something specific. The difference between this and that is the distance between the speaker and what they're referring to. We use this when referring to things that are close to us, while we use that for things that are far from us. In this scene, Chandler is near Rachel, while Phoebe is far away from Rachel. This is why she uses this for Chandler and that for Phoebe. If you know someone, then that means you're familiar with them. In other words, you've met them before. For example, Okay, people, tomorrow morning, 10 a.m., Santa's coming to town. Santa! Oh my God! Santa here? I know him. I know him. But this is Chandler, Hi. and you know Monica and Ross, Hi, and Jill. that's Phoebe, and that's Joey. Hey, how you doing? Don't! <laughs> how you doing is the informal variation of the greeting, how are you? So instead of simply saying, how are you, you can say, how you doing? But on Friends, how you doing is Joey's famous line used to flirt with girls. 
his intonation is also different. It's very flirty. It's not, how you doing? It's how you doing. You've never asked a guy out? I don't even know how I would go about it. Oh, well, well, what I do is uh, I look a woman up and down and I say, hey, how you doing? This explains why Rachel reacts so badly when Joey says this to her. She does not want Joey flirting with Jill. That's why she says, Don't! <laughs> don't is the standard contraction for do not. And when don't is said by itself, it's actually a command not to do something. Like in this example. Don't! That's my ice cream cone. And that's Joey. Hey, how are you doing? Don't! <laughs> Honey, what are you doing here? Honey is not just a delicious treat we have with bread or tea. It's also a term of endearment, which are words we call people or animals we feel affection towards. Besides honey, some popular terms of endearment include baby, sugar, sweetheart, boo, and my personal favorite, pumpkin. Language learners often confuse these two questions, what are you doing and what do you do? And they're crazy different. What are you doing is asking the person what action they are performing now. While what do you do is questioning what the person's profession or job is. <laughs> Honey, what are you doing here? Which, which sister is this? Is this the spoiled one or the one that bit her? <laughs> which is a WH question used to ask for information specifying something that is in a specific group. For example, I saw Jane at the party with her boyfriend. <gasps> which one? She has several. In this case, the group is made up of Jane's boyfriends. Poor guys. As for the friends clip, Rachel has two sisters, Jill and Amy. So Phoebe is asking Ross to specify which of the two sisters Jill is. Pronouns are an excellent tool for avoiding repetition. So here, one is a pronoun for sister. Bit is the past simple form of the irregular verb bite which is when you cut through something using your teeth. It's common for people to bite their nails when they're nervous. Which, which sister is this? Is this the spoiled one or the one that bit her? <laughs> Daddy, cut me off. Cut someone off is a very common phrasal verb, and it means to stop providing something, usually money. A synonym could be the verb disinherit. Daddy, cut me off. Never mind, I got it. <laughs> Never mind is an expression used when something no longer matters. Some similar expressions include nothing or forget it. Okay, Phoebe, Rachel, take off Monica's bra. <laughs> All right, forget it. Never mind. Got it is an informal expression frequently used by native speakers. It's a synonym for understood. Since the verb get has a ton of different meanings in English, that depends solely on context. It's ideal to use quality resources so that you don't get lost when you're looking this word up. When you watch a video on FluentU, a handy app where you can learn English with authentic videos, all you have to do is click on the word to get context-specific definitions and even video examples where your target vocab is being used. If you want to understand native speakers and watch your favorite TV shows in English without getting lost, and while still getting all the jokes, make sure you check out FluentU. After every video, there are personalized quizzes and speaking questions too, so that you can also speak like a native. There's a free two week trial for you in the description box below. And Fluent You is on sale right now. Sign up and then come back and tell me what you thought. Never mind, I got it. <laughs> and you know what I said to him? I said, I'm gonna hire a lawyer and I'm gonna sue you and take all your money and then I'm gonna cut you off. So 
said can be a tricky verb because language learners often use it as a synonym for told. However, both of these verbs have very different intentions. Say focuses on the actual words someone said, while tell focuses more on the message or the content someone said. So in this case, she literally said hello. She told him they were going on a holiday. When you employ someone for a job, you hire them. In other words, you pay them money for their work. Guess what? What? Joey just hired Chandler to be his assistant. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh man, no one likes the word sue. Sue is when you take legal action against a person or an organization. Check out this example. It's only fair. And if you bring in one more woman and she has her baby before me, I'm going to sue you. And you know what I said to him? I said, I'm gonna hire a lawyer and I'm gonna sue you and take all your money and then I'm gonna cut you off. Wow, what did he say? He said he wouldn't pay for my lawyer. One thing I want you to notice here is that when we retell what someone said, otherwise known as reported speech, we usually need to backshift the verb. Backshifting is when a verb tense is shifted from the present form to its past form or the future form to its present form. So you always go one step back, but it does not happen in all reported speech. What Rachel's father literally said to her was, I will not pay for your lawyer. So when Jill reports this to Rachel, she backshifts. She changes the verb from won't to wouldn't. Backshift. Wow, what did he say? He said he wouldn't pay for my lawyer. <laughs> and then he told me to come here and learn about the value of money from the one daughter he's actually proud of. <gasps> In this context, Value is the importance, worth, or usefulness of something. Jill and Rachel's family are rich, therefore Jill is spoiled. And she's never had to work to get money. Unhappy with this situation, her father wants her to go out and get a job so she understands the true importance of money. So a little earlier, we saw that one can be a pronoun. But look at this, the one daughter. Here, one is not a pronoun, it's actually an adjective. It's a synonym for the adjective only. So Rachel is the only daughter that he's proud of. Huh, that's not good to tell your daughter. But what is proud? If you're proud, then you are super satisfied with something or with someone. So proud of Joey. I can't believe he's gonna be on Law and Order. I know. <laughs> and then he told me to come here and learn about the value of money from the one daughter he's actually proud of. <gasps> Did you hear that? My dad's proud of me. My dad's proud of me. <laughs> Rach. Oh, yes, sorry. Right. Right, honey, so what did you do that made dad cut you off? If you make someone do something, then you force them to do it. So Rachel is asking Jill what forced her dad to stop giving her money. Take a look at this example. Gary's gonna ask you to move in with him. <laughs> what, really? He just told me at the counter, uh, he made me promise not to tell, but I couldn't hold it in any longer. Before we see what Jill did to make her dad so mad, don't forget to download the free PDF of this video lesson. That way you can review all that you've learned anytime. Right, honey, so what did you do that made dad cut you off? Okay, I bought a boat. You bought a boat? Usually when we ask questions in English, especially if it's in the simple past tense, we need to use the auxiliary verb did, along with the main verb in the infinitive form. So the question would actually be, did you buy a boat? But in this clip, Monica isn't asking a yes or no question. She's not asking if she bought a boat. Jill has already said that she's bought a boat. So Monica is actually asking for confirmation while expressing disbelief. Because usually people don't give friends boats. Notice how her intonation rises at the end. You bought a boat? 
You bought a boat? Okay, I bought a boat. You bought a boat? Yeah, but it wasn't for me, it was for a friend. Boy, did we make friends with the wrong sister. Here, boy is a cute, informal expression. It's typically used to express excitement or, like in this clip, surprise. Yeah, but it wasn't for me, it was for a friend. Why did we make friends with the wrong sister? Jill, honey, I think this is the best thing that could have ever happened to you. I mean, you've... By the use of the adverb ever, which means in any possible case, Rachel is highlighting that this is the best possible outcome or consequence for Jill. Here's another example. Hey, hey Fizz, Monica tripped me. I don't think I can ever run again, ever. <laughs> Jill, honey, I think this is the best thing that could have ever happened to you. I mean, you've needed to get out on your own anyway. What Rachel means by this is that Jill needs to become independent because currently she depends on her dad. Fly away from the nest, little bird. And I know when you get out on your own, whatever you do, you do great. Anyway is an adverb that has many meanings. In this case, it's similar to regardless or none of the less. Here's an example. Though my mother forbade me, I played video games anyways. Shh. I mean, you've needed to get out on your own anyway. And you know, when I did it, I, I, at first I was scared, but then look at me now. This, you know, is a very common expression and it will definitely make you sound more like a native speaker. I have not seen a Friends episode where you know was not present. It's usually used at the beginning of a sentence to get someone's attention as to what you're about to say. You know, we upload videos every week. Make sure you subscribe so you can keep learning English with series like Friends. At first is a more informal version of the expression at the beginning. You can use it either at the beginning or the end of a sentence. For instance. Hey, how was your chef thing? Uh, it's awful. I guess some people just don't appreciate really good food. Well, maybe it was the kind of food that tasted good at first, but then made everybody vomit and have diarrhea. <laughs> With the expression, look at me now, Rachel isn't telling her sister to literally look at her now. She simply wants Jill to observe her current situation in life. How she started out the same as Jill and how she's now successful and independent. I'm an assistant buyer! <laughs> and you know, when I did it, I, I, at first I was scared, but then look at me now! I am the only daughter that dad is proud of. <laughs> only is frequently used to emphasize that it's one of its kind. It's single or exclusive. Rachel's father has three daughters and Rachel is the single one that he's proud of. That's so mean. Here's another example. Coffee is the only thing I drink. I am the only daughter that dad is proud of. <laughs> okay, well, this is, this is what you're going to do. You're going to get a job. You're going to get an apartment. Gonna is the informal version of the future verb tense, going to. It's frequently used to talk about plans. Here, Rachel is talking about all the plans she has for Jill, like obtaining a job and an apartment. You're going to get a job. You're going to get an apartment. And then I'll help you and you can stay with us, right? Stay can mean for you to literally remain in a certain place or position. But if you stay with someone, like in the case of the clip, that means you either remain at their house as a guest or you live there, but temporarily, which would be the case for Jill. I, I really appreciate you guys letting me stay here. Not a problem. And then I'll help you and you can stay with us, right, Phoebe? She could stay with us. Of course, yeah. Ah, oh, that's so great. When right is in a question, it's frequently used as an interjection to ask someone if they agree with you. Take a look at this example clip. What we did last night was... Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> totally crazy stupid. <laughs> what were we thinking? <laughs> I'm coming over tonight, though, right? <laughs> oh, 
Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> of course is an intense way of agreeing about something. So instead of simply saying yeah or sure, you can say of course if you feel really strongly about it. For instance, hey, do you want some chocolate? Of course. Did you say chocolate? Chocolate? Chocolate! All right, Phoebe, she could stay with us. Of course, yeah. Ah, oh, that's so great. Okay, I'm really gonna do this. I don't know how to thank you guys. Oh, uh, I like cars. <laughs> By saying really, Jill is firmly stating that she will truly get out on her own. So really is an adverb similar to actually or truly. This exact same thing happened to my roommate Denise. She moved in with a guy who was secretly married to her and he said he didn't love her, but he really did and it just blew up. I don't know how to thank you is an expression frequently used when you really want to thank someone. Usually when they're helping you or doing you a favor in any way. Another similar expression is, I don't know how to repay you. This one's really good if someone is doing you a big favor. I don't know how to repay you. So by saying, I like cars, Phoebe is very humorously, indirectly making a suggestion to Jill, asking her to give her a new car. What's a car to someone that gives boats away anyways? It's nothing, it's like pocket change. Hmm. I'd ask for a helicopter. Okay, I'm really gonna do this. I don't know how to thank you guys. Oh, uh, I like cars. <laughs> yes? Hi, is Rachel here? I'm her sister. Oh my God, Jill! Oh my God, Rachel! Hi! Oh my God, introduce us. <laughs> well, this is Chandler. Hi. And you know Monica and Ross? Hi, and that's you. Phoebe and that's Joey. Hey, how you doing? Don't! <laughs> Honey, what are you doing here? Which which sister is this? Is this the spoiled one or the one that bit her? <laughs> Daddy, cut me off. Never mind, I got it. And you know what I said to him? I said, I'm gonna hire a lawyer and I'm gonna sue you and take all your money and then I'm gonna cut you off. Wow, what did he say? He said he wouldn't pay for my lawyer. <laughs> and then he told me to come here and learn about the value of money from the one daughter he's actually proud of. <gasps> did you hear that? My dad's proud of me. My dad's proud of me. Great. Oh, yes, sorry. Great. Honey, so what did you do that made dad cut you off? Okay, I bought a boat. You bought a boat? Yeah, but it wasn't for me. It was for a friend. Boy, did we make friends with the wrong sister. Jill, honey, I think this is the best thing that could have ever happened to you. I mean, you've needed to get out on your own anyway. And you know, when I did it, I, I, at first I was scared, but then look at me now. I am the only daughter that dad is proud of. <laughs> okay, well, this is, this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna get a job. You're gonna get an apartment. And then I'll help you and you can stay with us, right, Phoebe? She could stay with us. Of course, yeah. Oh, that's so great. Okay, I'm really gonna do this. I don't know how to thank you guys. Oh, I like cars. In this video right here, Monica and Chandler talk about what to do with Rachel's bedroom. And I have to say, I'm definitely on Chandler's side. Even though Chandler is super rude when he mocks Monica. Hmm, don't know what mocks is? Watch the video to find out.